Alright, pretty boys and above average girls, what's the plan? I suppose before we do anything, we should properly introduce ourselves to each other. If we're gonna work together to save the world and all, it would probably be good to, at the very least, know a thing or two about each other. Ugh, fine, I guess you're right, Flowerhead. I'll start. My name is irrelevant, just call me Senso Chan. I'm 26 years old, and I used to be a news reporter. But then someone threw Jar Jar Binks's mutilated corpse at me and I've been traumatized since, so now I just kill anyone for the funny if they even seem remotely suspicious or weird to me. And I get away with it because I have a rich dad and I'm an awesome fucking lesbian girl boss. Glad to meet ya, Senso. I suppose I'll go next, the name's called Roy Westfield. More commonly known as the Cookie Man, or as the guy who did that one thing on Halloween that one time. I'm 30 years of age, and before you ask, I am not edible. I proudly have a kill count in the double digits, two of those kills, being my own parents who I ate by accident as they were also cookies. But speaking of food, I love burgers, like they're so cool. Anyway, that's all, really. Then I guess, I go last, my name is Sun Amadillis, and I'm a real authentic human. I'm 29 years of age, and I'm the gay flowerman to Cardroy's gay gentleman. My favorite food is eggs, and people for some reason call me short, which is not true, that's a lie. That's blatant misinformation. Anyway, I guess to close things off, I once had my own TV show, Sun Amadillis Guide to Humanity, I called it. I made it because I felt like a lot of humans were just not acting human anymore, if you catch my drift, but the show flopped, and it's mostly my fault, I was unprepared, and so I failed miserably, but hey, crushed dreams aside, that should be it, for now. Glad I get to hang out with you too. Cool story, bro. Anyway, now that we got that done and over with, I suppose we should work on meeting up with that hero of heroes, Nero told us about. But how are we gonna do that? Nero said that the hero of heroes lives on the moon. Well, we could buy a spaceship and fly to the moon. I once won a driver's license for spaceships in the lottery. Okie dokie, that sounds stupid enough that it might work. Let's just casually buy a spaceship. I feel like you're being sarcastic. No, just this once I'm not. Like I mentioned earlier, my dad's rich as fuck and I already stole his credit card in preparation for this nonsense, so let's just go to the local marketplace downtown and see if they sell any spaceships there. Great plan, let's do it. Though, since I mentioned him earlier, I'm kinda wondering what Nero is up to right now, in the afterlife and all. Maybe he's still stuck in purgatory. I once used a Ouija board to communicate with my grandma and she told me that the waiting time until you get sent to heaven or hell is incredibly long. Who cares about that blue-haired idiot with pronouns? We have a world to save. Onwards, gentlemen. <laughs> So, uh, it's been an entire month, how much longer do we have to wait for our judgment so that we can be sent to heaven or hell, or whatever? Like, gosh I'd really appreciate anything new, this boring waiting room is draining all my energy with just how boring it is. I have no idea, friend, but it was nice having you here as emotional support. As a more amazing friendship developed off screen and people will never get to say all the funny and amazing things we did together. Yeah, a shame really. But you know what? I'm tired of just sitting around here and waiting, let's have a look around, maybe we can find a way to heaven ourselves. Mm, yes I suppose a look around would not hurt. Let's go forward friend, perhaps we can truly find a way out of here. Maybe there's something on this bulletin board that could help us. It's the words a look, my friend. I'll check around if I can find anything useful back here. Alright let's see. Heaven to the left. That was easy, let's hope it's not a trap or something. Whoa, there it is. The door to heaven. In all my years of being alive and serving the mighty Lord Obama, I never thought he'd say it with my own two eyes. Well, we watched we are here. Have you shown no good trespassers? Oh no, it's who? I remember you from the Fifth World War. Well, aren't reunions just fun? Defeatism general de Ekad. Still looking like a living tumor. Never knew you were a homo, pretty little boy with his got there. Hey, I'm not a homo. That's my friend Nero. And now I'm gonna beat you up for insulting him and bringing him into this. You giant red idiot. <laughs> Still as violent as ever. Uh, fine. I'll move. Fuck face. Shut up, red arms. This is for all of my friends who kill. And before you forget, Nero. Quick, run through that door. 
to ultimo worry about me I'll find a way out of this friend whatever you say man I believe in you thank you general DK I'll remember you dude congrats you give me good in your life do you expect a round of applause are you proud of yourself yes yes I am and you won't take that away from me so this is the marketplace hey I don't see any spaceships yet how boring well in all honesty I doubt that we'll find a spaceship in a normal as marketplace like this no reason to give up so early cookie maybe these spaceships are just very good at hiding yeah flowerhead has a point let's just split up and if we don't find anything we will meet up at this exact place again in like an hour or so that all right with y'all it's not like we have anything better to do okay fine I'll be going to the food sector. The smells there are practically already screaming my name. I suppose I could check out the clothing sector. I've been meaning to get a new outfit for a while now. Why are you idiots expecting to find spaceships in a food or clothing sector? Ugh, you know what? I won't question it. I'll just, uh, look around. Maybe have a couple of drinks because I'm thirsty as fuck. See you losers later. Bye bye. One hour later. I found nothing and I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that you two found nothing either. How do you know? I tried really hard though, maybe we should just cut our losses and look elsewhere. Hey, you three looking for some good stuff? Who said that? Wasn't me, amigo. Yeah, that wasn't me either. Well, you silly gooses, it was me. <coughs> Would you three be interested in buying some slaves? They're new and improved slaves, all thanks to the hashtag slavery challenge on TikTok, these slaves now run on the blockchain, just like NFTs. But unlike NFTs, you can fuck these. Wow, Senso, you dumped a lot of bullets on that creepy bitch. Scum must die. Garbage freaks must be eradicated. I have zero tolerance for creepy bitches who hurt and traumatize children. Well, Senso, you single-handedly ended slavery. Good job. Anyways, hey kiddos, are you alright? Yeah, now that you three heroes saved us, I think we feel pretty alright. My name is Kai, by the way, I'm so happy to finally be free of that evil woman. And that pretty girl, next to me is my best friend. No face Nina, she isn't very talkative, but I assure you, she's incredibly grateful for your help, just like me. Thank you so much. How could we possibly repay you three? Oh, please it's no biggie, we just did what's right. Actually there is one thing you two could possibly help us with, have any two of you perhaps seen a store, that sells spaceships somewhere in the city? There's a time and a fucking place for things, Corduroy. Oh. No, don't worry miss. It's okay, I know exactly what you three are looking for. Z Space Musketeers Spaceship Store is at the other side of the city, can't miss it, there's space marketing all over the streets once you get near it. Ah, uh, thank you so much little guy, this is exactly what we've been searching for. Then I suppose it's off to the other side of the city for us, fellas. Let's go, we have no time to waste. Meanwhile... Ah, uh, that's the big I know and love. Standing up for the weak and defending those who can't defend themselves. What? No, no. Dad, I was not watching people through my funny crystal ball again. Only creepy weirdos would do that. Okay, what the heck was that? would be us, apologies for the rude entrance. Don't apolitize, bitch. We're evil. Breaking and exploding things is a simply part of our daily routine. Oh, it's you too. I forgot I called you two here earlier. Kick 
Can you please leave Mom? You're embarrassing me in front of my comrades. Well, then this year. Now that your ugly old egg of a mother is gone, you better have a good explanation for calling us here. Hey, I don't go by Nessie Trapper. It's Nero Steinberg now. I am stealing the old world owner's identity in hopes of God simply giving the world to me by accident or something. Oh yeah? Well, that's a stupid plan. Catch deal, Nero. Catch what? <laughs> That was really unnecessary, Grand. I hope you know that. Oh please, she's overreacting. All he did was throw a cinder block at her. Grand, you stupid fat Italian bastard. Do you know how expensive all that evil lady was? Not to mention my super cool evil mask with a super intimidating and menacing voice changer. <coughs> oh and my crystal ball is gone too. Great job, Grand. Really amusing. Uh, now that's a dinosaur I know and love to bowl. Ignore Grant's lunacy, are you okay? A cinder block to the face surely must have hurt. Yeah, I'm fine. My mask must have absorbed most of the damage. Anyway, I suppose I should tell you too why I called you here. There's a trio of people who want to stop me from taking over the world. One of them being Celine. I don't know how to say it but oh, they're going to the moon, so I need you two to go up there as well and stop them from reaching the hero of heroes. Do whatever's needed to succeed. But please don't hurt Celine. Well, if your original promises of me getting my own femboy haven once you've taken over the world still hold true, then I assure you, he'll kill these idiots and do her. Perchefully make sure that Celine doesn't get in the way of your plans either. God damn it, Grand. Nessie is our friend. We can just help her out once without expecting anything in return. Though, a world where children don't get access to all those violent video games would most certainly be a dream come true for me. Don't worry boys, I'll still make sure to fulfill my promises once I've actually taken over the world, but since simple identity theft hasn't worked so far, I suppose I should do some research on how to truly take over the world first. Anyways, enough talking. There's a spaceship in the backyard. Go up to the moon and make sure to stop any main character looking weirdos from meeting up with the hero of heroes. I'm putting my full trust into you too. Man, it sure is nice being an evil billionaire with a history of being an unfunny asshole and scamming people with overpriced spaceships. I sure do hope my reign of terror won't abruptly end today. Hello funny white man, we would like to buy a spaceship. Did you just say, hello? Hello is boring and overused, get with the times old man, it's good to try new things. She isn't wrong, you know. Ah, well paying customers. There's nothing that I like to see more in the morning. Since you three seem interested in spaceships, I can only recommend the amazing piece of art standing right next to me. It's currently on sale, as well. Instead of costing 1.9 million dollars it costs a tiny 1.8 million dollars. So what do you three say? Is your interest piqued? Yeah sure whatever, you have yourself a deal. Wait a second, this all seems way too easy. Well, things can't always be an agonizing pain in the butt, sometimes you just have luck in life. Come on, let's get the spaceship and start flying to the moon. Pleasure to do business with you ladies and gentlemen. Though, before I give you all the keys, there's just a tiny little question I'd like to ask you. Are any of you three? How do I say this? LGBT. Yeah, we're all kinda gay, why? Oh no, oh no no. Security bots, dispose of these. Homos. Haha, ha, you fools. Do you even know who you're messing with? I'm the cookie man. And I have a secret weapon, specifically made to deal with homophobic losers like you. Oh, really? And what would that be? Wait, where did that giant cookie come from? <laughs> no, my perfect security bots. You freaks. Actually, I think you're the freak here. No, not the classic no you. It is too strong. You freaks of nature I'm gonna explode all thanks to you. My reign of terror ends today. This is just unbelievable. No. Wow, I didn't know you two could actually defend yourselves that well. Color me impressed. Well, we can't have you wasting your bullets now. We might need them later once it gets super serious and stuff. 
Yeah, besides, I've been meaning to do the classic no you strategy on someone for ages. You know, maybe you guys aren't all that useless. But hey, we can talk later. That spaceship is now ours, so let's start our little trip, gentlemen. I can't wait to meet the hero of heroes, or perhaps even Steinberg. This is so exciting. Get comfy, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to fly to the moth of a king moon. Fancy new hole you got here. Seriously impressive. Love the smell of the rotting corpse beneath my feet. This certainly makes God happy, I'd say. Grandpa? Oh no, no no no. I knew this day could only get worse. I'm not dealing with you and your unhealthy obsession with that sky hobo. Mom, Grandpa is here to annoy you again. Oh, so the smell is your husband, huh? I'm sorry to hear that. But, well, he's up there with God now. In the place where all good people go. Speaking of good people, what's up with my dear granddaughter? She seems upset about something. Ah, I see, so that's how it is. Well, I most certainly can't say that I am surprised. There's terrible things happening left and right. This perfect utopia made by our Lord and Savior, now seems like it's a lordless land that's beyond saving. Which just makes me question my beliefs. Our Lord claims he loves all, and people who love each other care for each other, but where has he been all these times? All these many instances where absolutely abhorrent things have happened. Things that are definitely sins, worthy of punishing. Though maybe that's it. Maybe they aren't actually worthy of punishing, maybe our world hasn't truly gone to shit yet, maybe it could still be saved by mere humans like us and as such God doesn't have to intervene. Though I would be lying if I said that I was patient enough to wait for his arrival. Perhaps I should try my hand at getting him down here. I shall commit sins so atrocious, that God is left with no choice, but to come down here and fix this broken mess of the world, himself. I'm sorry my dear, but this was for your own good. Now you can be reunited with your husband up there in paradise. I promise I will take great care of Nissi. She, no, everyone will soon see me as the hero of this world, as I will make God come down here and fix this wretched nightmare. Soon everything will be better. Soon paradise will return to this utopia. <laughs>